Hey everyone, welcome back to another custom figure review. Um, this is my character, the Great White Assassin. Um, I wanted everything to be like a shark theme, so I found all kinds of shark pieces, like from thrift store hauls and such, where I could build this. Like the head is one of those, like a, it was a shark head on a stick and it had the lever that you could move his mouth with. Um, his gun was from a Mo2 land shark vehicle. This was an Imaginext glow in the dark shark. When I found it at the thrift store, it was missing his tail, so it was perfect. And I used a doll body spray foam and then i used to work in a lot of places so if i found like weird wires or plugs i actually found a lot of stuff when i was walking my dogs too i'd see like weird like plugs and wires and things and such so i'd if i saw something neat then i would uh pick it up like these little leaves were part of like a fish aquarium plant one of those fake ones and then this was like a like a vcr cable or some kind of cable the fins on here move and the feature still works where you its mouth opens let me show you the art first. I actually found my pictures that I've done. So this is the original artwork where I decided to create this character. So I thought that was a lot of fun. I love this piece. I love it. And now on to the actual features and stuff I kept like this part for like the tail I just cut the uh, rod short and then reattached this piece and then ran it through the doll body so the feature still works you can see like the little bands in there and stuff so I wanted everything to be functioning I got like a googly eye I put in that part and like I said this is I can imagine next thing but the arms move it's hard to do with one hand let me see if I can do it and the arms move I believe the legs move, but whoa. There you go. There's that. And get a close up of. You can push it up and you can put like little things in there, but. It's got like a black fist in there right now, but I just painted it black because it's not supposed to be in there. I just used it because it. Made it a nice snug fit where I could glue it in and mount it. But he shoots like undead shark ghosts, lasers type deals. Like plasmic shark ghosts that can uh, melt your face off. <laughs> but I love this carry. He's one of my favorites. Next week is my absolute favorite. But the past, like last week's, the Malevolent Marsteroid, the Great White Assassin, and my next week's review are my favorites. Of this size, there are three that I made with doll bodies like this size and did paintings for and everything. And then I have a couple more after that, but then I'm pretty much done with all my customs. So hopefully... 
I'll have my art studio done so I could start doing some more and then maybe I can start doing some like live action custom builds or some video tutorials of when I'm putting them together or something like clips of actually building them from beginning to completion so that'll be fun I'm getting I put a lot of work in this weekend actually I put up like uh, four wall boards and some ceiling insulation so I'm thinking within the next month I'll have the back room area finished and then I can start working on the front room and finish that off <clears throat> so hopefully not too much longer depending on money and time but it's I'm making leaps and bounds now my friends so hopefully soon Hopefully by spring, it will be completely done. I wanted to finish it before the winter time came, but them's the breaks. Things happen. Money issues or things you got to spend money on other than stuff for that. But it's coming along and it'll be awesome when it is done. One of these days I'll do a walkthrough. <laughs> but I'm I'm pretty much going to probably stop like actually buying toys. Like I said, instead, unless it's a pre-order. I keep saying that and then I go out on hunts again anyway. But I'm serious. I need to stop so I can just concentrate and get this thing done. Because so what's the point of buying stuff if I can't display it? Because everything is pretty much a bin collection right now. But I do, saying that, I did go out again this weekend on a comic hunt and a thrift store hunt. I found a new thrift store. So I got a little haul from there. I got a comic hunt. And I got a box from, um, like a, U not a YouTube, but a Facebook toy auction thing where I won some goodies. And I finally got it after about two months. So I'll have those three videos this next week and then maybe the week after I'll do a walkthrough and show you what I have done so far. Still have quite a bit to go but you'll at least be able to see what's going on in the workshop and I'll talk about what I've done already. So until then my friends stay tuned for more toy comic book videos. And next week's custom figure review. And until then, my friends, peace.